Um, can you give us just an update on the aftermath of the um, Georgian fight with Canelo? Um, just how the, the fans took the fight. Um, there was a lot of criticism. Which over, oh, um, the Canelo and Yildirim fight. Overall, you made you made the right decision. A lot of people, I think, are, are backing you on that. Just uh, that, that. Just last words on that kind of fight. Well, that fight. I mean, I can't say anything bad about Canelo. Canelo did his job. <clears throat> you know, I mean, things happened. There was a lot of things that that didn't that didn't fall in the right spot throughout the time. You know. And then uh, COVID didn't didn't uh, play a good role on our side, you know. Yildirim, uh, you know, I just think that Yildirim is a great fighter. He's a great he's a great kid, but I didn't think he was ready for the magnitude of event. Mm -hmm. I just think that's what it was because I trained him. Uh, I, I had to fly to Turkey and train him over there for a few weeks, three weeks actually, and just him being over there is not the same. I will train alone in a place, in a private place. And it's not the same when you train along other teammates. <laughs> like Andy Ruiz is training with everybody here in Canelo's team. Over there it was it was just Yildirim, my, my son and myself, training two alone. Three weeks in Turkey. We flew to California one week to close camp. And then the next weekend we went to, to Miami. It was just jet lag. I'm not blaming that on the jet lag. I'm just saying everything was so different, you know? And then I just think that the, the day of the fight, uh, Yildinim had some good work, good sparring, good training, but there's fighters that can prepare themselves physically, but they don't prepare themselves psychologically for the magnitude of the event. Walking in the ring to the magnitude of an event like the Canelo Alvarez. Yeah. And I just think that's what happened. You were pretty convinced that he was going to compete that night and give a good, good account of himself? Um, I honestly thought that he was going to get in there and fight like every fighter. I thought, you know what, let go of your hands, you know. I was, you know, he's physically strong, he's younger than Canelo. I said, hey, just let go of your hands, you're fine, because you know, he has power. And I always thought, I said, man, and one exchange, both of them exchange at the same time, it's a 50-50 because they both can hit. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, Gildinim mentality, I don't know, blocked, blocked him or I don't know, he was just not ready for the moment. Mm -hmm. He was just more on, or he probably, like I said, you never know what goes through a fighter's mind. Maybe Gildinim felt Canelo's power and uh, he was just executed by it. Yeah. And Canelo's got a fight up, comes, up coming against Billy Joe Sanders. What advice would you give Billy Joe heading into this fight? He could be facing the same uh, situation How, here. The advice I give Billy Joe Sanders is be smart. Don't be stupid in that ring. Don't try to, don't try to be brave because Canelo hits hard with both hands, and he's unpredictable. He's very unpredictable. Canelo's very smart. Uh, Canelo reels you in. He sets traps. You fall into him.